Colin Whittle, the CEO of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, is joining us. We're in Nashville at the uh, Cattle Industry Convention. They call it CattleCon now, you know, to kind of That's right. get get in with all that, which is which is kind of cool. But all right, let's talk about what's going on. Uh, we talked about uh, all these different uh, ideas on on cattle marketing. Uh, still, there's groups out there and individuals say, hey. Let's go back a few years ago when mandatory country boards and labeling, things were good in the cattle industry. Why don't if we put that back in, good times will be here again? Cool. It is the issue that just never quits. And all we have to do is remind ourselves that cool was law of the land for six and a half years. Two major takeaways. One is our case failed in the WTO and we were on the verge of being retaliated against us by Canada and Mexico to the tune of a billion dollars, which we just cannot afford to have that kind of retaliation from two of our biggest customers. And we knew that the American consumer here was not paying attention to it. So we had all of this compliance cost for nothing and we were on the verge of retaliation for nothing. So we know that mandatory country of origin labeling as it was does not work. We're taking a new approach. That is, let's make sure that whatever has that label product the U.S. from a voluntary standpoint is fully traceable. We know it's U.S. product and we're using the voluntary process verified programs that exist today to be able to move that forward. That's where we're going to have success and that's where we're focused. What do you say to those that say uh, NCBA represents the Packers, not the independent cattlemen? Talk about your membership. All of our leaders are cattle producers, cattle feeders. All of the decisions that are made on our policy are made by cattle producers who are appointed by their state cattlemen's association to help our process. And it's that policy that they pass. That policy book is what we implement on Capitol Hill. That policy is not voted on or influenced by the Packers. We don't talk to the Packers every day to get our marching orders. Matter of fact, we find ourselves in a lot of cases on the opposite side of these issues from many of the Packers. So those who continue to say that, one, have never been to one of our meetings and don't know anything about the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. All right, I want to get that out there. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the infrastructure bill that's now working its way through an awful lot of money. I mean, you know, a billion here, a billion there. Now you're talking real money. Um, but we see some of the votes, Republicans switched over and voted with the Democrats. Not maybe switch is the right word, but the point is uh, some of those coalitions seem to be unraveling, or have they been, when we look at to bring some positives to the, uh, to the cattle industry? You know, we have to look at this infrastructure bill for what it is, and it is a, a needed thing. We need some infrastructure investment. But the way that the president and Congress have gone around it or about it is not the best way because all they want to do is raise taxes, raise taxes on our backs in order to pay for it. And that is unacceptable. There is a way that we can do both. They have to also understand that when it comes time to really consider their, their climate change priorities, they need us. They need the grazing green space that we provide. And the very tax provisions that they're talking about to pay for infrastructure is completely counter to that message. So that is what we are delivering, not only to members of Congress, but also to the President, that if you want to be successful in what you're doing, don't tax us. All right, well, there's a lot of things we talk about, but I know our time is short, so Colin, always great to see you. Thanks, and we'll continue to follow up with you on these issues, so appreciate it. Good to be with you, Ken. Colin Whittle, the CEO of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, has joined us. Stay with us, we'll have more in just a moment.